I was rolling back to my truck in a parking lot, and all of a sudden I just hear, hey, hey, and I look over, I see this giant Spartan dude running over at me, and I'm thinking, oh my God, you're gonna get robbed, Brian. You're gonna get robbed. Brian looked rough. I just felt like I needed to stop. And so I slammed on my brakes, and I whipped it next to him, and I jumped out of the car. You know, he's just like, hey, I'm David Vibora, retired NFL player. What happened? This is Buckshot. He was one of the IED detector dogs our unit had. It was April 18th, 2011. I'm walking in the boot prints of the men in front of me, and I'm like, well, all right, Buckshot, we're gonna jump. And right as I push it off with my right foot, my left foot's off the ground, and kaboom. And everything goes black from all the smoke and dirt flying in the air, and I've had over 30 surgeries. I can't even describe how much that stuff hurt. And you go and you tell them, hey, this still hurts. And they're like, well, I think you're abusing your meds. And I'm like, OK, well, I'm going to go buy heroin. The time when I stopped in that parking lot, he was severely addicted to heroin, had just gotten out of a second detox, and he was going to bed every single night with a pistol next to his body. He felt like he couldn't be the Marine that he was when he left our country to go serve. He was broken, completely broken place that I was familiar with. Nice to meet you. I told him I used to play football. You know, I had a gym downtown and I'd love it if he joined me. The following morning he showed up and we trained. And we started to explore different things and the way he could do things. And for the next three months he came every day. So we just hit it off. I watched the life come back to his eyes. We just experimented with all different kinds of exercises and from there we just built a program around it. After going there regularly, getting stronger, getting healthier, my body pain decreased tremendously. My confidence levels changed. It all became a lot more feasible. I was like, man, yeah, this, this is, I can do this. This isn't, this isn't impossible. Pick number 252. Last pick in the 2008 draft, making me Mr. Irrelevant. It was the St. Louis Rams. Selected me that last pick and started my rookie year. In 2011, I suffered a traumatic shoulder injury and it led to a very aggressive pain medication uh, addiction. It started with prescriptions and it quickly manifested itself and, and it was anything but dealing with pain. It was the first time in my life I had to look myself in the mirror and ask, who's David without football? It just took a year to rehabilitate my mind and my body. So I said, well, what if we started a gym in Texas? And so we moved here. And I launched the Performance Vault, training for elite athletes. I was having success, man. NFL athletes, Olympic athletes, making good money, finding the groove, and then it all changed. So Staff Sergeant Travis Mills. He's one of five living veteran quadruple amputees. Uh, he was blown up, serving our great country in Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, lost all four limbs. I was way across the room and I, I just, I saw him walk in and, and I was just drawn to him. And I looked at him and I said, when was the last time you worked out? He looked at me and looked down at his prosthetics and said, I'm sorry, I don't want to make you feel like an idiot, but I don't have arms and legs. I said, Travis, I want to train you. And he said, well, do you have any experience? And the first day we trained, I asked him, I said, what are you most afraid of? He said, well, remember, no arms, no legs, gravity wins, so falling. Then I realized, wait a second, I'm, if Travis is in this position that he, he can't really go to a typical gym, I said, wow, all of these people, veterans, civilians, there's people with physical disabilities, they've sort of been sidelined. They fall into the rehabilitation process, but eventually insurance ran out, cash ran out, and where do they go, right? Where, where, where do they go to, to be a part of a collective group that has this community and this ability to, to push each other. You know, as they graduate this, this nine week course and they continue to train as alumni, they recognize that they have this ability to train new people like them. All the world-class medical care out there, the great prosthetics, frequently there isn't, there isn't a kick in the ass, something that just pushes you to get going. 
No, something like that would never show up in hospital rehab. There's no tire flips, there's no sled hammers, there's no sled pulls, none of that stuff. You don't do medicine ball slams. They make you stronger, they instill some insane confidence and self-worth back into you. Not just that, they're giving you something to do, a place to be, a little sense of community with everybody. David's program, it's, it's invaluable. It's a strong dude. It's a strong dude. Come on.